Welcome back to themedcenter.com, boys and girls. I hope you're all staying safe and keeping well and healthy. Okay, um, in this video, I like to pick another question from the uh, Pat Pearson Edexel International GCSE Further Pure Maths paper. In the, the their most, this is taken from their recent January, twenty twenty, uh, exam this year. The code for this exam is 4PMI, sorry, 4PM1. Paper 2R, it's called Paper 2R, uh, Further Pure Maths, 4PM102R, okay? So this is question number five. Oh, by the way, uh, if you like our content, please do share with your friends and give us a thumbs up and share us on social media, all right? Uh, check us out further for all our content, uh, further for more of our content on our website, www.themedcenter.com. All right. Question 5a says, uh, show that alpha plus beta cubed minus 3 alpha beta times alpha plus beta equals alpha cubed plus beta cubed. Now, okay, this is a, a question involving roots of a quadratic equation. Okay, now, uh, I'd like to point out to you, alpha plus beta is actually sum of roots. So basically, this question says, basically in question A, they are saying sum of roots cubed minus 3 times product of roots times sum of roots equals to alpha cubed plus beta cubed. That means roots cubed, okay? Sum of roots, sum of the respective roots cubed. Okay, so now, uh, what do they want? Show that. So people, you will notice the left-hand side, looks longer the right hand side is really quite simple and clean so i always tell my students try to start from the part which is more uh, which has more details rather than start from the simple to the hard to the more complicated so i would choose to go from left hand side to the right okay that's a tip there so basically um it's simple expansion alpha plus beta cube means alpha plus beta times alpha plus beta square, all right? Minus three alpha beta bracket alpha plus beta. Now, if you're moving from left-hand side to the right-hand side, you can't write left-hand side equals right-hand side. That would be redundant. So you take a position, okay, I'm moving from left-hand side. So from the left-hand side, you develop, develop it until you get your answer. So I would have alpha plus beta Alpha plus beta squared, bracket squared, will be alpha squared plus beta squared plus 2 alpha beta. Minus, okay, I expand this term. 3 alpha squared beta, negative, minus 3 alpha beta squared. Okay? Be careful of the expansion. Now this one, you have to be really, really careful. So I will start with alpha times alpha squared, alpha times beta squared, alpha times 2 alpha beta, and so on. And then I would use another color to take the beta times alpha squared, beta times beta squared, beta times 2 alpha beta. Okay? So when you expand the left-hand side, I will have alpha cubed plus alpha beta squared plus 2 alpha squared beta plus uh, alpha squared beta. The blue recognizes... Beta times alpha square, I use back the color, the font, the, the different color ink. So you can check your working with mine. Plus 2 alpha beta squared. Okay. Minus, ouch. Minus 3 alpha squared beta minus 3 alpha beta squared. You will find that uh, this one, this one, and this will knock each other off. Okay? Alpha beta squared plus this will knock off this. And finally, you're left with alpha cube plus beta cube. So it is shown. You have proven it. Just this is pretty straightforward. Just that you have to be really careful with your expansion. Okay? The second part says, without solving the equation, find the value of alpha cubed plus beta cubed. 
given the roots of the equation, okay, look at the, the second part of the equation. Given the roots of the equation are alpha, beta, in 2x squared plus 3x plus 6, find the value of alpha cubed plus beta cubed. Okay, so uh, 2x squared plus 3x plus 6 equals 0. Okay, here the roots are alpha, beta. So what you're going to do is, the sum of roots, this is A, A is 2, B is 3, C is 6. Right, in the quadratic equation. So the sum of roots, uh, let me use short formula. Huh? Sum of roots, which is alpha plus beta, will be minus B. So minus 3 over 2. Similarly, product of roots, which is alpha, beta, is C over A, which is 6 over 2 which is 3, okay? So therefore, your alpha cube plus beta cube, you have found in, you have proven in the answer above, is actually alpha plus beta cube, which is product of roots, sorry, sum of roots, cube, and it's minus 3 over 2 cube, plus 3 alpha beta, that means plus 3 times product of roots times alpha plus beta times minus 3 over 2. Okay, just substitute your sum of roots and product of roots carefully into your answer that you found in A above. Okay, so watch this carefully. When you expand, uh, you should be able to get it. So minus 27 over 8 plus negative 27 over 2. You work it out, it should be 81 over 8. You can leave your answer in fraction or in decimals. Both are acceptable. Okay? So people, if you like our content, please do share with your friends. Share, share, share on social media. Check us out on themedcenter.com. Give us a like, subscribe to our email. So you'll be notified of all the new, uh, the new video uploads that we have. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.